and welcome to another video. Today we're heading to Epcot for the festival of the holidays. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We do a lot of traveling, theme park, cruises and more. And today we're going to be exploring the festival of the holidays at Epcot and we're going to try some of the different uh, food they have this year. So come and join us. The Festival of the Holidays, presented by Advent Health, started November 24 and continued on to December 30 of 2023. First stop, Noche Buena Cocina. All right, so we just tried uh, from Noche Buena Cocina. Uh, we had the tamale. Tamale was a plant-based uh, chorizo. It was good, um, a little pasty. The red sauce, chili sauce, had a nice kick into it. And then we got to try the pernil. Pernil, it had mojo pork with tostones, mayo ketchup, and mayonnaise. That was one of our favorite one. It was very good, delicious. The tostones was nice and crunchy as well. And then for drink, uh, we have a ponche navideño. Uh, There's a Christmas punch with apples, pears, guava, orange, brown sugar, tamarind, cinnamon stick, bunch of stuff. It is warm, it is pretty good, nice flavor. I thought it was alcohol on it. There is not alcohol, but still good. All right, so we just hit our second spot at Le Chine Holiday Kitchen. What do we have here, Robert? pastrami on rye and a potato rocca. Uh, the potato was super good, it was very delicious yeah. and the pastrami was very good. It was very juicy, it was warm. Even the pickle has a nice uh, flavor too. Homemade pickles. Yeah, homemade pickles. And then for a drink we had a Brooklyn Brewery Winter IPA. Uh, they had two different sizes, you can get it 8 ounces or 12 ounces. We got the 12, nice beer, nice IPA, good flavor. So I think it's our favorite so far. Yes. We tried. On to the next one. All right, so our next stop was Tuscany. We have the Montanera. All right, what do you think about the Montanera? Um, it was light pizza dough. Uh, simple. Not much you can mess that up. Fried, fried uh, pizza dough with the marinara and some Parmesan. It was okay. I, would, I probably wouldn't get it again, but it was. Uh, there's much worse things you could eat. Yeah, it was like a piece of dough, a uh, few little balls. They got saggy after they put the sauce on it, so I wish it was a little more fresh, like the dough was more doughy. It was very chewy. Uh, not bad. Would it do it again? Maybe not. It was fine. It was fine. All right, I'll do the next one. All right, Ernesto was in Bavaria. What do we have, Robert? We had pork schnitzel and we had a cheese fondue. Yeah, pork cheese schnitzel. Um, it has good flavor. It was a little on the cold side, but it's still good flavor. And we have cheese fondue. The cheese fondue. Can't mess that up. Yeah, cheese fondue was very good. It was worth the wait on the line. Line was pretty long. Nice flavor. I think we still like the other place better. So this is like a second place for us right now. Yeah, but it was good. And for drinks, we got two different beers. We had the Prost Fitzberg from Miami, and we have a Bitburger. Bitburger from Germany, both the beers are very good. Again, they have a six ounces and a 12 ounces. We decided to do the 12 ounces, bigger size, and it's good. On to the next one. Shanghai. So we had the chicken skewer. Um, it had a great flavor, it had a peanut sauce. Uh, the chicken was very tender. Cold. But it was cold again i don't know because it's uh, the time that we're coming in right now it is after 7 p.m we feel the food is getting cooler it's no warm it's no room temperature it's like getting cooler but the flavor was good so that's my only thing there and then we have a beef and noodle a soup bowl the portion was huge we were just talking like look at that plate big portion great flavor Wish it would come like a maybe in a little cup. I mean, I still like the big portion, but maybe something that can keep it warm. It was still warm, it was still good. That chi uh, chili oil, 
chili oil sauce that they had nice kick at the end good flavor as well as the beef um, between the two of those that soup was good it's good it's a winner it was a, it was a winner no my favorite so far but it's still it's a winner some decoration to the tree maybe next week uh, this walls were gonna be down and we get to see what's behind the wall Well, I hope you enjoyed the video at Epcot at the festival of the holidays. We did skip few of the events like the candlelight procession. There are always stuff that happen around each of the different pavilions, but we're going to be returning back to Epcot for candlelight procession. So we're going to show you that video. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss to those videos coming up soon. Go ahead, give it a big thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed it as well. And also, comment down below, what do you think about the festival? I know it's a short festival, but will you come? Will you enjoy the food? Will you come only to watch the shows like Candlelight Procession or any of the stories happening around? Or what else are you going to do on Epcot? Let me know below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye and happy holidays.